y'all. Welcome to Pop Talk Comics. I'm JoJo coming at you from the middle of the desert in Vegas. Yep. Because uh, we are on our way, or shall I say, going, going back, back to the valley. Valley. Yep. But anyway, um, yeah, I had to take two days off of work after the unfortunate news that I received of uh, my grandfather passing. So yeah, I have to um, go to his funeral tomorrow, and yeah, so I'm driving out there right now. It's going to take me a few hours, so I'm hoping that I can hang out with you guys and keep my mind off stuff right now. And so I thought I would do uh, maybe like one or two movie reviews. Um, how's that sound? I don't know. I'm just winging it right now. Um, but yeah, I haven't done a movie review. The Last Jedi, and um, yeah, I haven't done one for that or for uh, Black Panther, so I guess I, I will start with Black Panther. First of all, um, I know that Tebow recently, I think last night, did a live show with Ken Lashley and they went over um, Black Panther. I haven't been able to watch it because, like I said, um, I had a get ready for this trip and I was packing but you guys should go over and watch that um, as well but right now I'm just kind of going to be casually going over it just telling you guys my thoughts about it um initial thoughts coming out of theater I was pleasantly surprised you know I I didn't know what to think about Black Panther uh I've never really read the comic books I have never been into the character in general so it was nice and refreshing it's a very energetic film um i i think the acting was perfect uh they just got a lot of things right in film um i loved how they gave you a taste of the culture in wakanda as well like it was just a really enlightening movie overall um one like one minor gripe really and that was the music I liked some of the beats don't get me wrong but I don't know why they just felt like they had to keep keep going back to that heavy bass like constantly <laughs> like we get it we know the demographic that's going to be coming to watch this film I understand but we don't need to pander like that like come on come on guys but anyways, everything else, though, was pretty, pretty good. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, let's see. As for, I forget the actor's name, but um, both of the main actors, the one playing T'Challa and the one playing uh, Killmonger, Michael B. Jordan, yeah, um, I thought they did pretty well. Killmonger, yeah, he was, he was pretty wicked, pretty, I wouldn't say creepy, because they did humanize him, but I can't, I really was kind of shocked with how it ended with his, with his storyline. Um, I really liked the internal struggle with T'Challa that happened. Like how we saw the good background um, for these characters, very well developed. Um, action was, was really cool. I would say that was probably the main thing in the movie that I enjoyed thoroughly because I'm usually like sleeping during during action sequences for some reason. I don't know why. Every time I try to watch Avengers movies, I just knock out. It's like
underlying social commentary. I think it's definitely a, a representative of, you know, things that are happening currently. And I get why this movie is so important. One thing that is kind of bugging me is the fact that people keep saying that this is the first superhero uh, to be portrayed by a black person. Not true, guys. Do your research before you say that. This is not true. Um, I mean, back in the day, we had Hancock. That was a superhero movie played by Will Smith. Awesome movie. I always liked that movie. Um, we have Shaft. We have Blade.